today has been an absolutely tragic ending to 24 days of struggle. Um, the whole of the Karika team are completely floored by this. That um, such a brave fight should end so tragically. Um, and I know we're all in shock. It's very difficult to comprehend what's happened to our boy Timba, but he's been a magnificent soldier. He's really fought his way through so much. I've just got the most amazing admiration for him. And I feel very humble to have been part of his life for, for a short while. I'm just so sorry that we couldn't do enough for him. And that we couldn't see him through this. There have been so many people that have that have done so much to give him the best chance we could. And it's all because of what he had here. I just can't get my head around it. There are so many animals like him that just have some part of them that man, for some reason, thinks they have a right to take and to take under such brutal and merciless ways. How can we stoop so low that we can do this? If I look at his face, you can see real signs of this face healing up. And unfortunately, it wasn't just his face. His main problem here was his leg. And uh, I still don't know, even, even looking at him now, close up with more time, whether that leg would have come right. It's still, it's still an uncertain part of his situation. What I do know is because of the fight that he's put up for us, because he's shown us that you can have this happen to you and you can still survive it, that this boy is going to give us amazing opportunities to save so many other rhino that face the same future. And this boy is going to make He's going to make hundreds of thousands of people determined that this won't happen and that we will stop this thing. And we will find better ways of giving them better chances. But at the root of it all, we need to stop what people across the world are doing to these animals. We simply have to find a way of stopping this, we just have to. We cannot allow rhino every, every single day, sometimes two or three, sometimes eight in a day, to go through this. I feel so broken. So utterly broken that we've we've put him through so much beyond what the poachers did. We've put him through so much, and we haven't succeeded. We haven't been able to give him that life that that he deserves. You need to take the story of Temba, who hasn't made it, and the story of Tandi who will make it and you need to tell the world what these animals are going through. <laughs>